Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can use SharePoint online list properties web pack in SharePoint. So um, we will see uh, what is this uh, list properties web pack. So basically, if you want to use or if you want to display uh, details about a particular list item, then we can use this list properties uh, web pack and uh, we will see how we can uh, display list of items and when user click on or select one item then the details will be displayed by using this list properties web pack so you can also check my previous videos which are basically on list web pack and library web pack i'll put the links in the video description now without further delay what we will do here is you can see here this is my sharepoint online site I'll create a page first so you can see here I will simply choose a blank layout and create a page so I'll give the name as uh, demo page and this is the default web part let me just delete it next what I'll do is I will just uh, convert it to two section so that I can add two web part in the first web part I will add a list but before that let me just show you what this list is I will just let me just open that list so you can see here the list is trainings list so i'll just open this in a new tab now this is the training list you can see here there are a couple of columns on this so in this case i have five columns and uh, what i want is uh, you know whenever user will select a particular item then all details will come this will be really helpful uh, if you have more columns and you want to display uh, those every columns once user will select that so if we'll click on edit so we'll edit this page in the left side i will do one thing i'll add a list web part and here i will select training so in this case if you'll see here now to uh, you know go to uh, all the columns user have to scroll like this what to, what you can do is probably you can uh, you know create a custom call uh, view sorry you can create a custom view and then you can have only one a column there and uh, because it will be difficult for the users to scroll and check it and then i'll create another i'll add another web part which is list properties web part you can see here and when you add list properties web part it will ask you to connect it so you can see here i will click on this and then uh, this three dot and then click on connect to sources so it is asking me the source i'll select trainings and uh, uh, display so selected item basically we will display here and the next size uh, this is again if you want to display five items ten items uh, one items whatever this just to resize it better is to choose auto size so that the space will not come and you can enable this option if you want user to edit the item else what we uh, the other things that you can do here is you can see the columns available on this uh, so what are the columns basically you want to display here so i will select all the columns and then i'll click on close i'll publish this so now you will see here if i'll select one column you can see here one record the details about that it is showing you can see here so same way if i'll select another one you can see here it is showing me all those items so this is this way it will be helpful uh, for you to display details about a particular list item uh, inside a list properties you have part so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our, our youtube channel you will get a lot of uh, free videos on microsoft 365 stacks so thank you and have a nice day